Tonight, the suspected drugged or drunk driver who slammed into a state trooper's car earlier this month is back behind bars after he was inadvertently released from jail. Meanwhile, the injured officer is still recovering from his skull fracture at St. Luke's Rehabilitation Institute. And that's where KXY force Jeff Humphrey visited with Trooper Al Larned today. And Jeff, how's he doing? Well, he's in good spirits, but still suffering from the effects of having a good part of his car's interior whacking him in the back of the head at about 60 miles an hour. Because of his experience with this collision, the trooper is asking drivers like us for a little favor in the future. I did a face plant, but not to my eyes. I hit my uh, upper right forehead. And we're thinking it went to, like, the microphones on the dash. Al Larnan doesn't remember much about the collision that totaled out his car, nearly killing him and the driver he had handcuffed in his back seat. Our biggest concern, State Patrol working on the highways, is getting hit by traffic. The 21-year veteran suffered a skull fracture when the rear-end collision sent Larnan's head crashing into the shield and roll bar behind him. The first thing I think that happened is my head went back and hit the plexiglass glass shield. I have a fractured skull right now and they're worried about some brain bleeds. Right now, Lorna needs to go through more rehab and testing before doctors can decide just how long it will take for the trooper's brain to heal. His recovery efforts were not helped along by the fact that the man suspected of causing the crash was inadvertently released from jail just three days later. Because prosecutors didn't file formal charges against William Zink within 72 hours, Zink was set free. Detectives tracked down Zink on Wednesday and rearrested him on a vehicular assault charge. Now that Zink's off the road again, Trooper Larded is hoping that other drivers will obey a state law that requires motorists to move over and change lanes when approaching traffic stops. We're there to help people and keep traffic moving. So as you come up, as the public comes up and sees the emergency lights on the side of the freeway, give us some latitude because we don't know what we're dealing with. Now, this is the second time in the past year that a vehicular assault or vehicular homicide suspect has been released from jail without conditions and allowed back out on the road with the rest of us. Prosecutors are making some changes in the way that these cases are handed off from district court to superior court. Hope they won't have that problem again. Reporting live at St. Luke's, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4, HD News.